inside the square ABCD. PA is 3 cm, PB is 4 cm, and PC is 5 cm. Find the area of the square. You may use the chapters below to jump to the section of thinking process and different parts of the detailed solutions. Hi there, welcome to my channel, Mathusiasm. Today, I want to share with you this question of 3, 4, 5 in a square. This is the third question of the series. You may want to check out the other two questions by clicking the link above. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we're going to focus on triangle BPC. Let's color the three sides of triangle like this. Next, we rotate the triangle about the point B by 90 degrees in a clockwise direction to get triangle EBA like this. Label the three angles at points B as B1, B2, and B3. We can prove that angle EBP is 90 degrees. Next, let's look at the blue triangle EBP, which is right-angled and isosceles. Then we can find out the angle E1 and the length of the hypotenuse EP. Moreover, if we look at the green triangle EAP, then we can also figure out the angle E2. Lastly, we're going to look at the red triangle EAB. With two sides and an included angle, we can find out the length of AB by cosine formula. Therefore, the area of the square is AB squared. That's all about the thinking process. Let's jump to the detailed solutions. In the figure, the three sides of triangle BPC are colored in red, blue, and green. Let's rotate the sides of triangle about a point B by 90 degrees in clockwise direction. Then, the red side BC is rotated to BA. The blue side BP is rotated to a new position. We call the image of P as E. Therefore, BE is equal to BP, which is 4CM. If we join E and A, then EA is the image of PC. So EA is equal to PC, which is 5CM. See the next figure. Now, let's label the three angles at points B by B1, B2, and B3. A rotation angle B3 is rotated to B1. Therefore, B1 is equal to B3. If we add B2 on both sides of the equation, then B1 plus B2 is equal to B3 plus B2. As you can see in the figure, the left-hand side B1 plus B2 is equal to angle E. BP. The right hand side B3 plus B2 is equal to 90 degrees because of the properties of square. So we get a right angle. Next, we'll focus on the blue triangle EBP, which is isosceles and right angled. Label the two angles as E1 and P as shown because BE is equal to BP, which is 4CM. Therefore, E1 is equal to P. And the reason is base angles isosceles triangle. Then E1 plus P plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees because of angle sum of triangle. So 2E1 is equal to 90 degrees, E1 is equal to 45 degrees. Moreover, we can also find the length of the hypotenuse EP. EP square is equal to 4 square plus 4 square because of Pythagoras theorem. Therefore, EP is equal to the square root of 32, which is 4 root 2 cm. Now, we are ready to consider two more triangles to find the side length and the area of the square.
In this part, we'll apply cosine formula two times to find the angle and side. Let's look at the green triangle EAP. As we know the lengths of three sides, we can figure out the angle E2. Cosine E2 is equal to 5 square plus 4 square root 2 whole square minus 3 square over 2 times 5 times 4 root 2. This is equal to 25 plus 32 minus 9 over 40 root 2. Simplify a little bit, we get 48 over 40 root 2. Let's rationalize it by multiplying square root 2 over square root 2. After cancellation, we get 6 over 5. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. Cancel with 6, we get 3. So the value is 3 root 2 over 5. Let's also find the value of sine e2. We'll use that in the next triangle. Sine e2 is 1 minus cosine square e2 taking square root. This is equal to 1 minus bracket 3 root 2 over 5 whole square taking square root, which is 1 minus 18 over 25 square root. So the simplest form is root 7 over 5. So these two values will be used in the final part. Lastly, we'll look at the red triangle EAB. Area of square is AB square, which can be found by cosine formula. As the angle opposite to AB is 45 degrees plus E2, that means we need to find cosine of this angle. By compound angle formula, cosine 45 degrees plus E2 is equal to cosine 45 degrees cosine e2 minus sine 45 degrees sine e2 which is equal to root 2 over 2 times 3 root 2 over 5 minus root 2 over 2 times root 7 over 5 so this is equal to 6 minus root 14 over 10 Finally, the area of square is equal to the length AB square. By cosine formula, this is equal to 5 square plus 4 square minus 2 times 5 times 4 cosine 45 degrees plus E2. So this is equal to 25 plus 16 minus 40 times 6 minus root 14 over 10. So the answer is equal to 17 plus 4 root 14 cm square. So I've solved this 345 question. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like, share and subscribe my channel. I'm happy to see your views in the comment section below. That's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.